Okay, let's have a look around this uh, rather splendid uh, N registration. So either 1974 or 75, um, Land Rover Series 3, 88 inch diesel, uh, an original diesel, this one as well, um, full safari, and this one's got total spec. It's badged as a, as a station wagon. It looks like a station wagon, but to be honest, I don't think it is a genuine one, just going by a couple of the body fittings and stuff and uh, the interior, fi interior fittings, but it is badged as a station wagon. It's got all the right bits on it, but um, we'll just call it a safari, I think is probably the best way. But absolutely total spec. It's got absolutely everything on it. Um, full safari roof with uh, the alpine lights and the um, double skinning and also full headlining as well. Um, it's got freewheel front hubs on it. It's got overdrive. What else do we have? Parabolic springs all round. Uh, twin spare wheels, including one mounted on the bonnet. <coughs> uh, military front bumper. What else? Uh, da -da -da. Inside in the front, it's got defender front seats with headrests. You may see on the video that the driver's seat has got a rip in it. We've just ordered a new driver's seat base, which um, it will come with a brand new driver's seat base on it instead of that one. It's also got a radio CD, although I don't think the speakers are wired up because I can't find any speakers anywhere, so I assume that's, uh, that's a bit of a bonus if it does work. Um, rear quarter bumpers, uh, rear step and uh, tow pack with both agricultural pintle and ball. Um, rear mud flaps, yeah. It's got, so there's not really much more you can fit on one of these, um, but it's rather nice. Previous owners spent a lot of time and money and effort on it, um, having it uh, restored. We've got a great big history chunk, a chunk of history with it, but I haven't been through it yet. But suffice to say, it has been professionally repainted um, in bronze green. I think originally it may have been blue, looking at the bulkhead, but uh, uh, professionally repainted in bronze green. I think the only area that perhaps hasn't been um, painted professionally is the vent flaps. They look as if they've been um, brushed. But the rest of it is uh, rather nice. One thing they didn't do but when it was painted was uh, beat out all the little dents and nicks. So it's got some character to it. Um, no big dents or anything, just um, a few sort of, you know, surface uh, abrasions and stuff here and there. But it looks really shiny and nice and smart and uh, really rather pleasant. But not too nice that you'd be frightened of using it. Um, around the front end, it all looks good. The military bumper's in good shape. All around here looks nice. It's not rotten on the, uh, on the vent panel, on the um, radiator panel. Bonnet's nice, and it's the original um, rather than the deluxe bonnet, which is another thing that makes me think it's perhaps not a genuine station wagon. Looking down the sides, um, looks pretty straight down there actually, it looks really nice. There's a slight crack in the paint just along there, just along the arch itself, um, but very slight. Scuttle corner on this side looks very good, just starting to bubble up a little bit on the outside edge there. Just slight bubbling, but all this looks very nice. Uh, a post looks good, a little bit of bubbling under the paint just there on the top of the A post. Uh, near side door, a few sort of minor dinks and donks in the door, but it's uh, not bad for all that. Inside here, as I say, we're gonna, we, <coughs> we've ordered a replacement seat base for the driver's seat, uh, but all the headlining is, um, all the safari headlining's all there. And uh, it has got trim above the window, so, mm, so I don't know. It might be, it might be, it might not be. You can't tell from the chassis number on one of this age. Um, <coughs> but we'll just say it's a safari. It's the doors have got also got checker plate on the um, on the door checker plate door cards, and I think on the rear floor as well. Doors themselves actually feel quite nice. Yeah, they're very good. Door bottoms on this. Footwells all look good. That one looks very nice in there. Um, near side rear wing all looks very nice, as does the, uh, the side there. Roof is obviously repainted at the same time. Around the tail end all looks good as well. Let's just have a look under the back here. You can't really see it on the video, but I can. Oh, it looks nice under there. Chassis had a little bit of welding on it, as you'd expect. Um, rear cross member looks good from this side. In the back here we've got twin rear bench seats, both with seat belts. Um, and as I say, and the, and the spare, another spare wheel mounted there. Door cards all in good shape. Hey, come back here. <laughs> um, but the tailgate itself, a little bit of rust on the bottom edge, but in the corners it's been been done at that end. The tailgate has been uh, has been refurbished, but there is some some rust in the bottom of the frame, and the uh, bottom hinge is uh, is poor. It's actually been done with a bolt actually, <laughs> but uh, does the job. And as it's not carrying the spare wheel, it's not a problem. Um, looking down the offside, a couple of barrel side dents in the driver's door, but uh, and a couple of ripples in the rear wing. But otherwise, all very nice. 
Um, that all looks good. Driver's door. It's a bit of electrolytic reaction on the underneath the paint on the bottom of the driver's door. They're right the way along it. Um, a post. Probably been repaired up there. But scuttle corner. A little bit of cracking in the paint just there. Not on the bottom of it, but otherwise it's all very good there. Um, door tops are in great shape, both sides. Again, the uh, the door card has been replaced with checker plate on this one, which I suppose gives it extra strength. But that door is absolutely fine, actually. Footwell on the offside is good. At, you can there's a repair patch that's been put in, just underneath the accelerator. But uh, that all looks nice. Yeah, it's good. Sweet little Series 3. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped anywhere you like in the world. Obviously, the cost. UK and Europe goes, uh, goes on a transporter. Uh, broad, it goes on a boat. That's about it. And